Carpe Diem, everybody. Seize the day. Welcome to Lisa Dublin Live. And I continue this week to interview my presenters at the To All The Girls virtual conference happening on the 31st of October from 9 to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. My guest today is Anna Mina. She is a financial expert who teaches families um, how to marshal their finances for their own betterment and for their future. And she does such a great job at it. I'm so happy to present her here today. Welcome, Anna. Hey. Hi. Uh, good morning, uh, Lisa. Good morning. I'm good pleased morning. to be here. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for waking up so early and looking so nice, bright and chirpy and red in the morning. <laughs> Oh, thank you for you, Lisa. I'll, I'll get up early. <laughs> thank you so much. You know, I'm very excited about what you have to say today and especially at the conference as well, because it is so essential to have the finances in order for us to be able to have an enriched life. And so um, let's first begin, Anna, by um, telling our audience a little about yourself. Yes, um, I, like you, Lisa, I am an immigrant to Canada. My family and I arrived here seven years ago with my husband and two of three children. I had to leave my eldest behind because she was finishing her medical degree in the Philippines. Uh, and, and just the two of uh, the younger ones came with us. Um, uh, uh, like you, we had to um, understand uh, Canada, which is yeah. very different from the Philippines. And um, and uh, so, so you work in you work in the financial sector right now, or you do this um, as a vocation? Is something that you just learned and that you you, you help families with? Is this well? You know? I I was trained in finance uh, back in the Philippines. And when we came here, um, I'm very fortunate to, to be working in the public sector now with finance and budgeting. But what really um, um, gives me a lot of energy is being able to also do personal finance with individuals and their families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's yeah. so important. Like another reason that I was so anxious to have you on Anna is because you can speak to different cultures, right? Okay, so we've, we've, we're both immigrants and you've come from the Philippines, I come from St. Lucia and we've come to Canada. Um, but listening to your story, what I realized is that even from the Philippines, you had these awesome financial strategies and saving um, modus operandi, let's put it that way, that have served you well, they served you well back home and they're serving you well in Canada. So can you tell us a little bit about um, saving, about, yeah, that part of life? Oh, well, uh, yes, my husband and I, we were kind of uh, savers ever since. And we thought we had a lot of money uh, before we came to Canada, only to realize that when we reached here, that the value of our currencies do not match um, uh, Canada. And so uh, whatever we saved uh, did not last us very long. Mm -hmm. And so we had to learn uh, how money works here in Canada. We had to learn um, you know, what things we need to save for, what um, what things to invest in and what um, what safety nets we need to set for ourselves when life happens, you know, because life is not always good. So um, we, we did um, a lot of conversations were about where and how to put money aside mm -hmm. so that we can meet our uh, needs right now, but also prepare for when things are not so good. Okay. Now, in terms of saving, um, well, one of the things I like in what you teach is that um, you need to make the sacrifices. Can you tell us a bit about that? Um, do you make the sacrifices um, with a goal in mind? Does that propel you to m make the sacrifices um, a lot easier than if you're not planning for something? Uh, Sacrifice. No one likes sacrifices. Mm -hmm. uh, no one likes sacrifices if they don't mean anything. And so it's the goal that sets us um, on on the way to yeah. really. It helps us decide what to give up. Mm 
it helps us to decide what to, to, to just forget and put down the list, bottom of our list, and really go for our goal. Um, you know, our children, our three children were our big why, you know, W-H-Y, uh, why we are doing all these things. And uh, that's enough for us to, to um, just focus on what's important and focus our energy, our career, our um, behavior on what is important. And that, does, that doesn't uh, mean a lot of sacrifice at all because in the end you are spending for what is most important and what is most valuable. Mm -hmm. And that is a very rewarding experience. Yeah, yeah. Nothing beats that, right? Yeah, Nothing yeah. Like that. Okay, so um, we're, we're not going to go into detail because mm -hmm. believe you me, folks, um, Anna ha is a treasure trove of information. I've really brought out the big guns for this conference and she's one of them. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to um, you sharing your strategies. Um, you know, one of the things you said very early in COVID was that it should have been a, a stressful time like it is for many people, but prior proper planning made sure that it was not, that it was a time that your family could tide over. And that was so, I was like, wow, this is great. Like people need to hear that. <laughs> you know? And, and uh, really COVID is not going to be our last crisis. And that's why I'd like to go to all the girls 2020, because it's uh, my opportunity to share how we can um, you know, prepare better for when there are personal uh, crisis happening or national or global crisis happening and how we can be um, uh, productive and, yeah. and uh, productive and, and survive even. And, and, you know, more than just survive, okay. like, you know, yeah. overcome, okay. overcome the many challenges of, of, um, all kinds of uh, stressful situations that come our way. Okay, and I, I, I'd like to be able to share that yeah, uh, sure. uh, on Saturday. Yes. Mm -hmm. For sure. Thank you so much, Anna. Um, this has been very insightful. So you, folks, you can just imagine what we're in for. Um, she has so much information to share that is topical and is relevant, not just to, if you live perhaps in, in the Caribbean or the Philippines or in, you know, that part of the world, but also in this first world context as well. I, I think some strategies, um, they apply across the board and some don't. And Anna is privy to, to both categories. Let's put it that way. Lovely. So, yes, exactly. Thank you so much. So See you on Saturday. Looking forward to it. Thank you for having me and I'll see you on Saturday to all the girls 2020. 2020. See you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much.